An 18 year old is finally heading home with a new heart and a new chance at life. She spent more than two months surrounded by doctors and nurses at UC Medical Center. Today she's getting the green light to leave. WLWT News 5's Rachel Hersheimer joins us live from UC Medical Center with her incredible story. Rachel. Chris, Ebony Sherwood has been through a lot to say the least. She suffered a massive heart attack at her high school and then she received a brand new heart here at UC Medical Center. But today she is finally heading home from the hospital and heading into a new chapter of her life. <laughs> heading down the hallway. This strong 18 year old is grateful to be alive. I'm healthy and I'm good. It took a lot of strength for Ebony Sherwood to see this day. Ebony is a very lucky, fortunate young lady. 10 weeks ago, she suffered cardiac arrest during a high school track practice in Dayton. Her athletic trainer administered CPR and used an AED to save her life. She would never have made it to the hospital if they didn't have an AED machine. She was flown to Cincinnati Children's, then admitted to UC Medical Center when doctors discovered she was having a massive heart attack. 18-year-old elite high school athletes don't drop dead. So she did. The only way to save her life was an emergency heart transplant. There is no such thing as an emergency heart transplant until we did one. The surgery was a success. It's been hard. Um, Ebony has always been very active and I never imagined we would be here. Before being discharged two weeks ago, she hit a setback. We're getting ready to send her home and she has a stroke. Thunderbolt from Olympus. And yet here we are less than two weeks later and she's walking out. Today she's finally making it out the door and leaving behind her extended family who will always have a special place in her heart. And Ebony tells us when she gets home, she is looking forward to petting her dog and then in a few weeks, walking at her graduation. We're live tonight from UC Medical Center. Rachel Hersheimer, WLWT News 5.